Hey, super friends, welcome back to another episode of Superhero News. We're doing a reaction today. Yes. It's been I, a while since we've done one of those. I should stop reading this Batman comic from 1980. This is older than I am. Dang, this is older than me, yep. too. Yep. That's old as hell. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Adam Havoc. I'm joined here with Hector Navarro. What's up? What's up? Uh, so if you don't know, Star Wars Celebration is going on right now in London. And Rogue One had their official panel. It was Gareth Edwards, Absolutely. Kathleen Kennedy, Kiri Hart, John Knoll. The actors came out. Ben Mendelsohn showed up as director Orson Krennic in costume. Followed by some stormtroopers, from, or I think they're flame troopers. Yeah. It was, it was a really, really cool panel. It's crazy. We're getting a bunch of updates from Augustine, guys. He's over there right now. He's in London. He's at Star Wars Celebration. He was he was texting us, but then there was some like tech issues. Like yeah. Things weren't coming through. He did a video. He tried to record a bunch of stuff on the download. Things weren't coming through. That's why he's not here right now in Los Angeles. So He's somewhere. You know, he's caught in space somewhere. Oh, my gosh. In a galaxy far, far away. But yeah. he's having the time of his life. He, he is. really is. He, is. he really exactly. is. He, uh, so, yeah. uh, along with... Uh, so we, we didn't get an actual trailer that was released publicly. They released right. a celebration reel, which is kind of what they did with The Force Awakens mm -hmm. at Comic-Con last right. year. Uh, from what I did hear, though, that the trailer they showed at the very end, they have a cameo by Darth Vader. Come in on. silhouette form. Come on. So unfortunately, we that's not it. what we're watching, which is a bummer, but we did talk about how we did want to see Vader. Hey, Augustine saw it. Yeah, he did. Lucky son sure of a gun, did. he son saw it. Bitch. Wait until he comes back. He'll um, give us all the scoops. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So along with this uh, with this reel, we also found out some information about Rogue One. We found we finally saw the first picture of Mads Mikkelsen as uh, Galen Erso. Mm -hmm. We found out that the robot that is played by Alan Tudyk is an Imperial robot that they reprogram. Oh, I the love rebellion. that. I'm I like, love that. What? What? I know. That's great. So much cool stuff. Yeah, so they obviously didn't reveal too much, but I think all those little hints that they talked about were great. Diego Luna actually revealed that, and then during the panel, he was like, was I supposed, was uh, I allowed to say that? Like, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, but Gwendolyn Christie moderated the panel, which was really cool. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it was a, it was a really she great panel. She can't be in it. She's not in it. She's not in it. But but she mounted the panel. That's great. So it was really cool. Um, this celebration real footage. As soon as they announced that they're going to show something, I turned it off because I didn't want to see it because I wanted to save it for this. But um, I mean, I don't know. What do you What are you kind of hoping or expecting to see? I'm I'm completely happy with everything that <laughs> that they're doing for for Rogue One. Honestly, like yeah. the trailers have been really really solid for me. The cast is amazing. I'm already, of course, going to go see this. It's it's going to slowly but surely turn into the thing with The Force Awakens, where it's like, all right, stop showing me. Stop right, showing me stuff. Like, sure. I want to go see it, and I want to try to experience as much of this without uh, without sitting in the theater and and knowing that, oh, I recognize this backdrop from this other quick clip in a trailer or a mm -hmm. commercial, so I know that, okay, there's the moment. Okay, cool. Let's yeah. get going. Let's, let me check off all the little moments in my head. I don't want to do that. I want to avoid that as much as possible. For sure. Um, although I do want that Darth Vader moment. Yeah. You know? Because so it's, it's a Chewie, we're home moment. It That's is. That's what it is. And For sure. that was such a great trailer. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not expecting anything. This will probably be like the like the Star Wars one from last year, yeah. which like made people cry. It's amazing. Oh yeah, it made me cry every time, every time. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's check this out and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, hang on, let me start it again. Okay, here we go. Too sexy. <laughs> Ay, too sexy. It's, it's demasiado sexy. It's like the fantasy you always have as a kid. Everywhere is an amazing shot, an amazing character. Nice. It's about the humanity of it, which just makes the whole thing oh, so real. Davis. Working. Come on. Ready? And action! Your heart's beating, and you're actually in this situation. You get something very genuine that you couldn't have planned. Yeah. You'll That's actually cool. compose Ooh. shots that if we were on a green screen set, you just wouldn't have known were available. <laughs> Dig it, George. The pressure's so high. Like, we're making a film that's right touching wow. my favorite movie of all time. But then, if you're too respectful of it, that you dare not do anything new or different, or take a risk, then what are you bringing to the table? No way. That's Next awesome. Week. Was the plans of the Death Star? Next week, next week! 
kills the Ente down there. Bang! Wow. This is really oh, where out. a film crew like this really comes into their own. That kid, when you were four years old, grew up with Star Wars figures. It's a bit like just being that kid again. You're sort of going like, ar, ar, ar. Oh, get out of here. be with us come on that's so exciting this looks so Son good of a bitch. this looks so good uh, holy crap uh, adam it looks so good i need this movie right now oh boy tell me about it man there's so much i mean again we talked about with episode seven the big thing that that really made f- people feel like it was star wars again was because of how much practicality there was in the movies mm-hmm. it wasn't just green screen it wasn't just practical effects they they know they've really learned they really blended them well they man. really yeah, yeah they absolutely have learned how to use these two technologies what can we do in camera mm-hmm. how do we extend that to make it bigger mm-hmm. in scale and in scope and i feel like this new generation of filmmakers and Kathleen Kennedy, they understand of what made the original Star Wars so special. The matte paintings, the way that they integrated all of these visual effects together. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just green screen sets. And mm-hmm. I mean, to the credit of George Lucas, like, to me, episode one is the most practical Star Wars film in the prequels. Okay. In terms of how much set yep. work it has. Yep. So I, for that, I really appreciate that movie. Yeah. And I, and I love the fact that they're continuing with that trend in this mm-hmm. and Gareth Edwards, the panel was talking about, you know, how we, this is a lead into episode four, one of his favorite star Wars movies, but you can't just honor, you can't just 100% honor that. Otherwise you're not adding AKA anything. Copy it. AKA, exactly. you know, exactly. So to me, that was yeah. really interesting to hear him talking about how we wanted to very much honor what the star Wars is, but we also wanted to add something of value to it. And Kathleen Kennedy talked about how she would go to set and Gareth Edwards would be running around. She'd be like, where's Gareth? He's running around the set with the camera handheld. Like everything in this movie's handheld because they always talked about how they wanted everything to feel like a, it's, a, it's a war movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, ah, oh, so much good stuff in here. That was just a beautifully put together behind the scenes yeah. montage of stuff. Like mm-hmm. whoever's shooting their behind the scenes stuff is an accomplished filmmaker in their own right. Yeah. I don't know who's doing that shit, but it yeah. looks so good. It does. So good. Such great little moments. Like man, and all those cool characters we saw. Of course, that was all amazing. That was great. But just like, but just those like, like those slow mo shots of of um of Felicity getting hit with mm-hmm. water, and it was like, oof, like yeah. those cool waves, yeah. and she's doing the stunts, and that looked awesome. Yeah, it just looked like it looked like this is what movies are for. Right. These types of movies. The movies are magic. The movies are magic, and they help people and they inspire people, and they're beautiful. And at their core, they're all super positive, and that's what they should be. And this is what movies are for. Yeah. Come on. I agree. Oh, man. So now I see, I saw pictures of that laughing looking like with the eyebrow. Oh, I, 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 I saw oh. pictures, po- people posting him like, he's my new favorite. What yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Well, and it's cool. <laughs> like, so you, they obviously, there are homages to characters who we end up seeing in episode four. There's one of the droids who ends up being in the in the Jawa Sandcrawler, the oh. C-3PO, who like turns his head. <laughs> there, yeah. and I I didn't read I didn't read the report because the report would have led me to the video. But I guess there's a there's a clip in this. Mm-hmm. If you go frame by frame, that pe- someone claims that they saw Jimmy Smith as Bail Organa. So that's super exciting to me Ooh. is the fact that like somebody saw it and it looks it looks like Jimmy Smith supposedly. So I can't wait to check that out and Ooh. hopefully it will be. But, yeah, why not do it? But yeah, it, I mean, would it, it makes be sense. would it be Going from uh, how how many years after episode three is this? This is 20, so 20, 19? It's, it's about 18 to 19 years because it takes place right before four. And right. I, think, I think four is 18 years. Yeah, Luke is 18. Yeah. Right? Okay. 
Yeah, you're right there. Well, yeah, it's a cold sleepiness. Um, <laughs> so that would put Bale. That would put Jimmy Smith at. Got to age him up a little bit. Got to age yeah. him up about ten years. So let's say, let's say he was like. It's been ten since they filmed it. Right. But and he's and it's and it's he. Let's say he was like in his early forties in episode three. So he'd be like sixties, fifties, early sixties. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so much good stuff. Yeah. So much good stuff. But uh, super friends, let us know in the comments below what you thought about this celebration reel for Star Wars. Rogue One or Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I'm still never going to get that right. No. Uh, make sure you guys follow Superhero News, youtube.com slash Superhero News, facebook.com slash Superhero News com, Twitter at Superhero News CB, Instagram at Superhero News com, and of course the latest news at Superhero News com. We're about to go to Comic Con, baby. Comic Con. Party, 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 party. <sighs> work, 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 work. Work, work, party, work, party, work, party. work, work. And then, then party, 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 party. <laughs> Hector, where can everybody find you? You can find me on the internet at Hector is funny. Thanks. <laughs> you can just Adam. find me at Adam Lavic. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.